In this session, we're going to do a quick start relating to the new Auto Steps tab in Simple Steps Raster version 1.2. To get started here, I just want to do a simple color separation working with the Mortal Kombat logo here. I've actually got this set up as a grayscale over here to the left, and I've got a full color. Now, looking at this, as we saw in session one, we can start to tell what colors are in our designs or in our images before we even separate them. And previously in version 1 of Simple Steps Raster, really all we had was basically this. If I pull this six hues, I'm going to get a six hue pull with a white base, a white highlight, and everything. But let's say I'm just separating this to go on white shirts, and I can look at it, and I can tell automatically that it's just yellow, red, and black. And that's all I'm really going to want to pull. Well, that being the case, all I need to do is come here to the Auto Steps tab and just enable the red by clicking on it, you'll see the green light appear. We'll do the same thing here with the yellow. Then go to my Click Steps page and enable my black. Now I won't need for shades because I'm not separating for shades here. Now once I've done that, I'll go back to my Auto Steps tab. We can verify we have just our red and our yellow. Now one thing I like to do is just kind of go through and verify that I don't have anything selected here that I don't want. For example, Save Transparency, I don't want that on. Because that's going to be pulled when I click Click Steps. Anything that I have enabled on any one of the panels is what's going to take place after I pull, excuse me, after I click my click steps button here. So I know I'm going to be in monochromes. I'm going to have a group because that's enabled. I'm going to pull my black and I'm also going to pull my red and my yellow coming out of my auto steps tab. Now if I wanted to just separate my red, I could just click here and that would pull just my red separation. Click here, that would pull just my yellow. If I came here and clicked on the actual black, that would pull my black. So you can see that we can enable buttons, or we can just click them. So I'll go back here to Auto Steps, and I'll just go ahead and simply click on Click Steps here, and we'll let that process. Now that actually took about a minute to process. And now I can see that I got my separation here. I'll go ahead and hit Control C. I'll go ahead and minimize this. We'll go back to the original document. I'll hit Control V. We'll paste that in, and we'll put this right here next to it. Now, looking at this, one of the things that I want to verify is that I have View, Simulated Over Prints turned on, and I do. Now, I can see that my yellow is a little bit stronger here than over here in the original image. I'll go ahead and minimize Simple Steps Raster. I'll go to the Object Manager. I'll come over here to the Click Step Custom Separation Group, which was the result of that separation. I can see that I got my yellow on top of my red. I'm going to go ahead and pull that beneath my red, and then you can see that I have a perfect pristine separation here. So that's how our Auto Step tab works. And you can also, from the Auto Steps tab, do a three color hue, a six color hue, a 12 color hue, 12 tints, 12 shades, or you can enable these and pull them based on which ones you want. Let's say I wanted to pull an orange, and let's say I had like a light purple in my design that matched that purple, I could go ahead and pull those from different Auto Steps functionalities in the Auto Steps tab. Now that I've pulled that, let's take a look at the monotone, duotone, and tritone. These will enable you to do grayscale color separations. You can also colorize these. Now if I wanted to separate this dragon to just a grayscale, and sometimes a grayscale separation is better for printing, like a sepia tone, than just going ahead and printing half tones on top of white. When you pull the actual white, the gray, and the black, and you lay down white, gray, and black ink, you get a much better print. And this is very frequently the case when you're dealing with metallic surfaces and reflections and chromes and things like this Mortal Kombat logo here. But we can also colorize these if we want to. For example, let's say I want to colorize this Mortal Kombat. Now, it's not going to be identical to the color that I have set up here, but we can still create some very interesting design effects working with grayscales, working with the monotone, duotone, and tritone separations. And really all this is, this is black and white with one gray is your monotone black and white with two grays is your duotone black and white with three different grays is your tritone and you can customize all of this now let's take a look at this i want to go here to the eyedropper tool i'm going to come up here and click on select from desktop that will allow me to click on my color palette to select my color go ahead and click there you can see that this has changed to a yellow come in here i'll click and i'll set my white as yellow and i'll enable that Come back here to my eyedropper. I'll go back up here and select from desktop, and I'm going to change that to a red by selecting that. I'll come up here and set this, and then I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And then I'm going to enable the black, which is already set to black. To separate this grayscale and colorize it, all I'm going to need to do is come down here and click on my Click Steps tab. 
and we'll let that process. Once that's finished processing, I can see that I did make a mistake here. I had my red, my yellow, and my black enabled, and I didn't want to do that. And you'll see very often I'll go through and disable things before I run my steps. But if I do do that, it's very easy to deal with. I'll just come over here to my object manager, and I can see I've got my hue poles here. I'll hold down shift and select these, and these are coming from the, here's your standard black, here's your hue yellow, hue red, and I'll just go ahead and select those holding down shift, and we'll delete those. And here is our grayscale separation color. So we've got our monotone gray black, monotone gray white, which is actually yellow, then we've got our monotone grayscale medium, which is actually gray. Right click here and select on overprint outlines. Go to view, enhance with overprints, and we can see what we get here. We get a nice effect that we can work with. And as I said, that's not the same as the original separation of the dragon because we pulled the gray, pulled the white, the gray, and the black. But you can see what we can do working with these grayscale separations coming out of the auto sets tab creating custom separations from grayscales and hues and tints and shades all from one panel working with the click steps. Now let's take a look at another button here. I'm going to go ahead and close this and I don't want to save that. I'm not going to need that. And we'll go back to our other page here. I'll go ahead and delete this. We're not going to need this anymore. And I'll just come over here and delete this. We're not going to need this anymore and we'll bring this over here. One thing I do want you to be aware of, if you ever do a separation and it comes up to the page and you don't see anything in the page, if you ran the separation from down here, that's where it would be in the new separation page. You'd have to zoom out and find it. Now, if we want to do the functionality that we had in the Simple Steps Raster 1, all we need to do is come up here and click on the six hues. And I'll go ahead and click that and we'll let that process and we'll see what happens here. Now, once that's finished processing, what's happened now is that we've got the same separations that we had working back in Simple Steps Raster. We can see here's our substrate, here's our underbase, here's our red, here's our yellow. Now we can see here our yellow is pretty strong. I'm going to go up here and change this to View, Simulated Overprints. I'm going to right click here. Actually, I'm going to select everything going down here. I'll just hold down Shift and just click all these and select all of these. I'm not going to overprint my underbase. I'll right click here and select Overprint Outlines. And you can see that here. Now we've got our red with our yellow on top. We've got our green. And there's not really any green in here. If we left click and pull this out, we can see there's no green here so we can delete that we've got our cyan and there's not really any cyan in the design we can delete that we've got our blue there might have been a couple touches of blue in there but nothing that we're going to need we can delete that we've got our magenta which is right here but there's really nothing in there we're not going to need that then we've got our white highlight and I'll just left click bring this out here hold down right click that and you can see that there is our highlight which we would use that if we were printing on a dark garment I'll hit control Z and move that back and then we've got our standard black on top and of course here we've got our substrate color and we can change that also as you can see right there and that was actually my white underbase I want to click here on the substrate and I can change the color of that as you can see there and I can look at that based on different colored garments or substrates so what happens here is that we do the full pull of all these hues with our substrate our white base our white highlight our black etc when we're doing the custom pulls, if we want to pull an underbase, a white highlight, or a black, we need to enable these here. So if I was going to pull that with these colors and say just in my auto steps, I wanted my red and my yellow, that's how I'd go and pull it. Now that just allows me to process that separation a little bit faster than going through all the steps of all the colors that I didn't need, being the green, cyan, blue, and magenta. So we can see quite a lot of versatility here and a lot of different options working through all the functions that we have here in Simple Steps Raster version 1.2 that we didn't have back in 1.0. And it's really up to us how do we want to pull our separations. I'm going to go ahead and just click here and we'll go ahead and disable these. I'll come back here and disable these and we'll go ahead and close this document here for now. So that's just a quick introduction to the new Auto Steps tab working with Simple Steps Raster version 1.2 and we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.